All right, without any further ado, we're getting into the battle. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Now, for Fat Cat, we're going to be selecting Battle Music 3, and we're just going to be clicking Battle Start. Select the Pokemon that you wish to enter. Okay, so we got the Gliscor. Yes, sir. And ba -bum. Oh, we got the Sableye. We got the Guard. We got the Ferrothorn. And we got the um, Gastrodon. Okay, well, our lead for this battle. Um. Kind of thinking he's going to lead Ferrothorn or the Gliscor. Uh, he does have the Sableye. Could lead that as well. Uh, could lead the Ambipom as well. Uh, this is a hard one. I kind of feel like you lead good into pretty much anything now. I'm actually going to lead my Mega. I mean, if he leads Ambipon, we just switch out on the Fake Out like it's no big deal. Oi, oi, oi. If he leads, can't lead Gastrodon. Uh, Gardevoir, don't think you want to lead that. Can't lead Mega Sable. I can't lead Ferrothorn. And you're going to have a hard time leading the Gliscor. So we're just going to click confirm with that. Good luck. Have fun. The Fight Cat. Let's get into the battle. Woohoo! <laughs> okay! I can feel the nerves just suddenly pop out of nowhere. Fuck me, that freeze from last game, last week, last game. That got me good, bruh. Suck my balls dry. Oh my god. Well, let's calc it right now. You already know. You already know uh, this has to be Alkaberry. It has to, it has to, it has to. Because this shit, it's like, um, I get iron barbs though. <laughs> it says HP water. That's supposed to be hidden power fire. From Mega. Yeah, it doesn't kill. It doesn't kill. Do I want that damage from my Mega gone? I can't. You you, you you heard how good the matchup was, right? So he's just going to put up rocks. I'm just going to go hard. Vixen of Ash. You, got, you can put up those rocks. But I'm going I'm to spam my fire moves. I'm going to do it. Set up the sun. Spam the fire moves. You already know what's up. If you dry your balls, you dry your balls. Like it is what it is. Gyro Ball. Yep, there it is. Definitely prepared to take that. That did a shit boat fuck ton of damage. The obvious play here is going Gastrodon on a Solar Beam. Uh, he could also just be putting the rocks though. Because he's he is Aukaberry. And could try to get rid of this thing. Where do I go on Gastro? I don't have the greatest switch ins for Gastro. I kind of also just don't want to... I feel like Flamethrower is just, like, good damage, though. We could also just Fire Blast the fuck out of this. Just rip a Fire Blast. Turn two, rip a Fire Blast, see what happens. Rip it and, rip it and ship it, dude. I don't think he survives through Walkout. No, he does not. He wants to swap. It's a trap. Guard. Traces the Drought. Okay. That's... N oh, that lands. Okay, thank God. I was like, that's not gonna land... My God, that does damage. Oh my God, we're just gonna click it again. We're scarf click it again. <laughs> he can't. He can't be thinking on flash fire because I set up the sun. He saw that. Why would you trace that, Broski? You good? I click fire blast. I should have looked at my switches. I don't think I have great switches to this either. In sun, um, HP fire nukes my Caesar, so I can't go that. Don't want to go my Mega getting shit for free. So, yeah, we're just going to rip another one and see what happens. He probably swaps the Gastro or some shit. But then we get a huge amount of damage on his guard. That's funny. I do have a bad feeling about this battle, though. We'll see. <laughs> it's just Fire Blast went hard. Why not? Let's have some fun in this league, man. Let's just bring some fun sets, dude. Just rip some Fire Blasts. You saw the animation, right? Great peak. Peak stuff right here. I envy you guys on the stream that can watch this in 1.5 times speed because I would have also 
love to just play this. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> take your time, people. Take your time. Get comfy. Get some popcorn. Get all this stuff ready. I think he goes Gastrodon. Like, there's no way. The beauty of this, though, is that Mega Sableye does not love to take this. Okay, so we just get a kill for free. He might know I'm Scarf now, though. I'm going to assume... Uh, knows I'm Scarf? If his Mega Gardevoir is... No, if his Gardevoir was Scarf there, he knows I'm Scarf. And also the fact that I'm clicking one move is very obvious. <laughs> yeah. But can he risk it going Gastrodon on that, though? I don't think he can. And with the sun up, I can actually go Dawn Fan as well and spin those shits away. I mean, he does go Sableye for free, but I get a free EQ there. There, that's why I don't like this matchup that much, bro. It's just, what is, like, my spinner has a horrible matchup versus his ghost type. His mega just sits there. Oh, no, man. It's like, oh, dang it, dude. It's like, fuck, I got to kill. No. <laughs> that was me versus Ducky in week one, dude. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, if you set up rocks, you're keringe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <sighs> Where do I go? How do I want to punish him the most effectively, I don't Like, I mean, Gardevoir was kind of a... But that's the thing about the sun. The sun's not going to be up forever. I'm not even counting sun turns. Like, what... So, what are you doing, bruh? Like, you know what I'm saying? I have Grass Knot on this as well, I suppose. Once the sun turns off, that's pretty good for me. But it doesn't, again, it doesn't pressure him that much. I don't really have a great option here that I'm seeing. I mean, I can I can go here and get the Storm Drain. Like, I can do that. I can get the Storm Drain and force this out pretty effectively. Uh, but he just goes Ferrothorn. But wait, fuck it. We can just go Ninetales again in Solar Beam at that point. Like, we got a kill. Like, that's 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 it right there. Trace the, trace the Storm Drain. Hopefully he clicks a water movie. He's gonna set rocks. EP. Okay, that's a great play. But it's just, it should do a lot. It, that is a lot, and that's it. But he didn't set rocks, and that's the important part here. So with this in mind, we will mega evolve. Although it is really good to just keep it this way as well. Like it's it's so good for me actually to keep it this way, because I can uh, I can steal his. Um, magic bounce later on which would be incredible but also the hyper voice damage is uh, immaculate here he goes feral thorn right i hp fire fuck it go feral thorn on me i dare you in the sun i hp fire right now i don't care about this staying in on me i don't care go H go feral thorn right now please go feral thorn right now i know you want to I gotta start playing the game, man. He's gonna set rocks and that's gonna put me at a disadvantage. I need to make some plays. I'm feeling frisky today. There's no, you know, there's no way I click, like I click either Hyper Voice, uh, Energy Ball or something like that. You know, you can go Ferrothorn for free, even if it is the sun. Because you know sun is ending in one turn. But if you switch it in, sun is still up this turn and you take sun boosted HP fire. That's mine thought of plan and i can also take whatever this wants to go for and it's not going to click a water move so i'm safe in that department so that is my train of thought here if it doesn't work it doesn't work but then at least you know i spent my mega playing my heart true show it to me show me the money batwing no oh that's the wrong plug. come on man that's the wrong Pokemon. Well, now he knows I'm playing a prediction-style game. Well, that's the beauty of a prediction, though. I'm in his head. See? The sunlight faded. Imagine. Imagine he went. I, I even I even think he freaked out from the... Um, I even think he freaked out, uh, like, super freaked out from the... Uh, what's it called? What's it called, though? Come on. HP. Not knowing if it's fire or whatever. So he knows that HP fire now. I feel like I can go conk pretty confidently. He does not seem to have a lot for conk. Like, he can go Sableye, but at the end of the day. 
I brought Rock Slide for Moltres, though. I can also go here. It's just if I get Toxic, man. Ah, uh, yeah. If he sets Rocks, he sets Rocks. Like, there's nothing I can do about that now. Unless I go Dawn Fan, in which case, you know, it's the whole Sableye. Sableye comes out as soon as I... You know it already comes out as soon. But this, what does this thing want to do? Either protect or toxic or whatever it is. So we're just going to go here. We'll just see what happens. He knows I have Ice Punch, but I'm going to throw rip it anyway. Like, what do I got to lose? Proc my Sturdy. No, pro EQ. Okay, I'm pretty physically, physically bulky. So he knows he was living a Hyper Voice there. Interesting. Who is your Ice Punch switching, good sir? Because I'm ripping one. I'm getting damaged. Like, you have no ice resist left on your field. Uh, you didn't bring an ice resist at all. Looking back at it. Looking back at it. Oh, no, 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 no. She's good at it. Yeah. So you already know. Ice punch. It's rocking true. Can we Can we get a freeze? Is that possible? Can we get a freeze on this? That would be great. Honestly. That did a shit ton of damage. I didn't even get a lot of you. Oh, my God. I don't know if you even want to mega here. I'm just I he's not putting rocks up. We're gonna we're just gonna play this game right here. Okay, so he's mega sableye now. Oh what the fuck? Oh my game Whoa 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 Back it up Recover Okay But you know what? You know what though? That's the beauty of this. That's the beauty of this shit right here. So he's he's fearing my my hyper voice, right? There's no way. Sableye, Mega. How much does it do to a Ferrothorn? Does it even like, like imagine a Ferrothorn that's max spadef, yada yada yada. Like it doesn't put it into HP fire range. It doesn't. But he's all he's also seen me play this prediction style game. So I feel like I can just rip a Hyper Voice here for free. Like, I could, I just get free damage. It might have lefties and whatever and that whole shebang, but... I'm just going to rip a Hyper Voice. Maybe he stays in thinking I over-predict this time. That would be... That's the beauty of the mind games. The beauty of the mind games. You don't want to You don't want to go for Hathor now. Because you know I HP fire on your Switch. <laughs> so that can be too okay. Oh, you have to play this by the prediction. It's about the moves you bring. It's about the moves you click at the what time. Do I click HP fire? Not fearing this too much? Or do I click hyper voice getting free damage? Or do I click like Calm Mind would also not be bad here. Admittedly, Calm Mind would be pretty good. But I'm thinking he's Akka, dude. He has to be Akka. Akka Balaka. Akka Don Shaka. Shaka Laka. I think he's Akka Shaka Laka, dude. <laughs> Why would you not be? We'll see. That's the beauty of this. Uh, that's the beauty of this. Uh, I'm actually, yeah, hey, brother. That would actually, that's like the beauty of this hyper voice as well. If I get the damage on the Ferrothorn and I see that it's not leftovers. Okay, so you did swap. Go Ferrothorn right now. Oh, well, this is just a free hyper voice. That's a, that's a fine middle ground play. That's a fine middle ground play. And this, this, ladies and gentlemen, this has magic coat. It has magic coat, ladies and gents. So it might just do that. I'm just going to energy ball now because energy ball kills from that range. I don't even think the, what's it called, Barry can save him. What range is he at? A little over 50. Did he just bring, a, like, a shit ton of berries? Yeah. So it does 50 exactly with, like, a, what's it called? Uh, energy ball rings, th rings through, and it's not even on berry. Well, there goes Gastrodon. Okay. Well, what, color me surprised. That That's beauty. That's the beauty of it. Maybe he was clicking uh, magic coat there. Oh, so here comes the Amphiphon, dude. Oh. <laughs> Red card time. <laughs> But he, like, if he goes Sableye, that's, like, whoever I red card here, it's so bad for me. So, but I kind of feel like I have to. I don't, I cannot click Stealth Rock in this economy. I just cannot. He has Magic Bounce. I cannot do that. Fake out. Yep. Boku no Zadon. 
Can we get something not Sableye, please? Batwing. Okay. Poison Heal. So how much is my non-invested ice shard doing? <laughs> to the uh, Gatorade. What's it called? Glyscore. <laughs> We're not there yet. We're not there yet. He saw me got conk on this last time. He might just fire off a flying tap move. Or he might just go into straight the Mega Sableye. Whoever it is, is a Shunka Samitang. Can I just Ice Beam him until he freezes? That would be beautiful. Because I don't get the freeze on the first Ice Beam. Like someone in the league. He clicks Toxic on the conk. That's crazy. Well, now we're on a timer, aren't we? And I'm not going to sit here and Ice Beam into a Mega Sableye now, am I? So this is a perfect opportunity for me to abuse that switch. I told you he's going to start toxicing things. He's going to start putting rocks on things. He's, he's obviously Toxic Orb, so he's not Yachi. And he knows he dies. Toxic Borb. Fake air. And then it's Ferrothorn item that we don't know about. He might also go Ferrothorn, which is a which is a decent play. And I think I need my Mega Gardevoir for the uh, Mega Sableye, don't I? Mm. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, Soul, you're in a predicament. You didn't bring enough power. The Scar Fire Blast wasn't enough. What's he thinking about right now? Ice Beam does kill, does it not? If it doesn't, I might have made a, the greatest misplay of my life. That's a low percent chance to kill. I might have just fucked up. The beauty is if he protects scouts, I can just go in you know, click the move. So I am faster. What do you freaking do? A Mikola. Don't kill me, please. No! <laughs> uh, oh! We're alive. Hyperbolith is right the fuck now. That's a brilliant EQ. I fell for the play. He stays in. Can we get a crit? Aye, that's good damage. Knockoff? Okay. Mega Guard is down. Uh, Shoutouts to me not getting through the freaking Mega Sableye now. <laughs> I mean, his Ice Punch switches still look horrible to me. I don't know. Like. We're just going to keep clicking. <laughs> yes. If I freeze it, maybe. Ah, uh, that EQ was good, man. I actually don't think I can get past the um, Mega Sableye now. I need something. Lord knows I need some. I need Iron Head Flinches. I need, I need the lore with me right now. Can I get the lore with me? Rouge, yeah, here he comes. Freeze City. I just want to... It also... I think he's not physically defensive. Because that, that to me, that's good damage. So I don't know what you're doing here. I can also go Rock Slide, which is the same base power. Or I can fish... I can, I can go for Flinches, which is 30%. Or, you know, I can go for the other one. I can just go for some Flinches, see what happens. Get some damage on this. Like, he has to knock off. Okay. That does nothing. So that's the beauty of this right here. If I get the flinch, if I get the flinch on this, that's like the beauty of this. I just sit here and rock slide. Land it, perfect. Can we get the flinch, please? No, we cannot. Okay. Well, I, you know, sitting here. Like, if he, if he toxics me, you already know. I'm just looking for a couple of flinches. Just, like, one or two. Mm -hmm. See, that's the thing. Yeah. But he does not want to... Uh, he does not... What's it called? Want to... Um, he can fish freeze. F uh, f f when he's healthy, I'd rather do I ice punch to f freeze f uh, fish. Fish? Fish? Yeah, fish for freeze. 
Oh my god, that does a boatload. That's a crit too. But the beauty is if I rock slide him right now. Like he's he's not faster than me. So if I just get the damage or to flinch or he has to kill me or whatever. Recover. Yeah, here we go. I should count I should count these recovers, but I'm not. You know? I just need a little bit of damage. So now I'll still fish for that flinch chance, because I want the damage, because he's gonna kill me now. He's gonna hundred percent kill me now. So I'm just fishing for that flinch. Get that flinch would be pretty good. Also, I like how I'm just getting no freeze on like five ice punches. That's perfect. That's exactly what I need today. But you see in Rock Slide is doing like a fat like what, 20%? So I don't think he's fist invested. Which In, in which case, my seizure grows ham on this. And then he dodges the one where... <laughs> Mother! What?! He dodges that one. Okay. Sure, dude. How much do you take for my Caesar? I know Foul Blade is doing a shit ton, but so is my Iron Head. But he, you know what? On Caesar, you know who he goes? He goes Ferrothorn. What about my Ninetales? Mega Sableye. Says it's a 2 at KO, but so it's Flamethrower is also saying it's a 2 at KO, so. And guess what? He does not have a switch, so we just go here and we just Flamethrower in the sun. That's what I'm hoping for. Hey, he drafted Sableye. He's, he's playing to his strength, man. If I should have Ice Punched, you can argue I should have Ice Punched there, but it's, it's typical. It's so typical that I miss the Rock Slide. When I need it to hit the most. See, here we go. Run for flamethrower. Good, good damage. Knock off. Okay. That does not kill me. And I am faster than you. Unless you have Shadow Sneak. We'll check if you have. Yeah, yeah, Shadow Sneak. Okay. So I need to expend two mons for this. But now. Now comes the beauty of the situation. He is at a little under 50%. Mm. Can't get through. Can't get through Ferrothor now, dude. This Mega Sable. I lost to that Earthquake, man. That's crazy. Cause I go this, he goes Ferrothorn. You already know. I do zero damage, and I have nothing that kills Ferrothor now. Check moves. <laughs> I got nothing. Sending out this. I'm going to make one last attempt at bringing this the fuck back. I'm going to bring one last attempt at bringing this the fuck back. You hear me? I have to make a play. Let's go in Ferrothorn. He has to. If he loves Mega Sable, I drop, I get a win chance again. And he knows it too. He knows it. If he doesn't know it, it's a misplay on his end, in my opinion. <sighs> At least the ice punch damage didn't matter. Maybe if I click fire blast. No, no. I don't think it matter. Ice punch plus the difference on flamethrower versus fire blast there does not kill. It leaves him very low, but it does not kill. Why do you recover? You don't live. What? What are you doing? Come on, bro. You don't live that. What are you doing? Come on, man. All right, bro. Sure. You know what? I would love a burn. You don't live that, though. I swear to God you don't. Maybe he does. On a good day. There's no way, though. And he doesn't know my item either? Can we get a burn in the house? Of course we can because that would be bullshit me getting a scald burn right now to save the game that would just be that would just be insane in my opinion that would just be that would just be crazy to me just getting one scald burn when i don't even have the chance to win anymore that would be crazy bro i can't believe he earthquake there 
on the Mega Guard. I can't believe it. I don't even get it there! I don't get it at all! Bruh. And that's now Sunlight is Fated, so now at least it does more damage. Like, I don't care about Dark Pulse flinches, man. I want the passive. Or I want the passive, man. Oh, that's so fucking frustrating. Mega Sableye, man. Mega Sableye Ferrothorn. He just has to switch predict the right moves from, from Mega Guard, man. It's so crazy. This team is crazy to play against. At least Ninetales got a kill, but man, Jesus. This is a hard one. This is a rough one. This is a dominant in the rough. Ah, it's so jolly, dude. Can't even get it. Can't even get it slowly. Oh, crit? I got a crit. Crit burn? Wait, oh, it just did that much now? Okay. Oh, thankfully I got it. Now I'm dead, though. It all comes down to this. Tanky as fuck, but I need one flinch to get you down. We're playing for fucking death right now, bro. Ah, man. If we can somehow miraculously get past the Ferrothorn, then we're in the money. But until then, doesn't kill. I guess they'll recover. And I don't get a flinch there either. Like, I'm fishing for so much. And I get so little. Imagine, he just he just lets the possibility of sword stance rip here as well, which is kind of crazy to me. Can I get one flinch? Knock off. Okay. That's my lumberry. That was meant for this. So that's okay. Hey. Don't count me out yet, boys. <laughs> Glyscar has Fire Fang, I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, what a peculiar situation we find ourselves in. Now I can at least set up Stealth Rock with Donovan. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, there's no way. I have nothing for this. Like, I have Roost, so damage is, like, isn't all that, but... How much does a Gliscar? Gliscar EQ probably does a lot too. It depends on if it's invested or not, of course, but. Oh my god. Man. Man, man, man. Man, man, man. He might think I have superpower for the fair. And he doesn't want two physical attackers in the endgame, Glyscore and Bapalm, to deal with Donphan. But I think I lost the battle on EQ versus Mega Guard, man. I can't believe he went for that. Because if I stay in, it's so much worse for him. But that's what I said. It's a, it's, it's a prediction, right? It's a metagame. Uh, it all depends on who he's staying with and who he's not staying with. Yeah. This shit has I fan. No fire fan, my boy. He's like max attack fire man to my Caesar. Funnily enough, it does not kill. So I'm going for the fattest iron head known to man. Roost. Roost. Come on, bro. And he's faster than me too. No. Why me? Well, now, I guess I'm going this. EQ. Well, that's going to swap him out. It's pretty healthy, though. Oh, yeah, it does make contact. <laughs> I, I, I still just set up rocks.
Like, he might toxic me. And this game is just over. He can just make the right swap between Ice Shard and EQ as well and stall me out with toxic. Man, would Audino have made a difference? I just like the offensive pressure that Ninetales gave me. Especially versus that Sable on man. Jesus, was that hard to get through. Like, I can't even begin to describe, my man. Like, there's a chance. Because Caesar has a whatever, whatever it's called. Roost, I guess. So he does withdraw. Bokuno. So there's a 50-50 chance he goes to Gliscor or he goes to Gliscor or the um, the other one, the Ferrothorn. I'm just getting guessing Ice Shard because I get the damage either way. Late game rocks coming into Kalooch. I mean, at least he can't toxic the Caesar. And the Roost got a lot of PP this gen. It's it's bulky as shit. Yeah, we just got a break. Can we get the Gliscor in here, please? Did I activate the red card earlier? Did I activate red card earlier? Well, guess we just rip EQs until he's in. Return. Does that kill? No. So we get an EQ here, which is great. And I also just get the Ice Shard. Create Ice Shard. Come on. <laughs> Freeze, Ice Shard. Freeze. Woohoo. U-turn. Okay. See, this is where it gets problematic. Because I only be having a Caesar leg. And I ain't got no way to hit that Ferrothorn for any kinds of damage whatsoever. But he goes here. Takes rocks. Beautiful. And I can't... The, the, the thing here is, I could have had a chance to win if Caesar was faster than this thing. But it is not, so flinches are out the picture. So the only way I'm realistically beating this, I could I can expend iron heads here because I need knockoffs for the other one. EQ. That also just works. You better hope I don't crit this, boy. Yeah. And that's the thing I gotta roost now. I mean, I'm playing. I'm playing the game, man. But it's it's Jover. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're sitting here, bro. And then we roost again because he's EQing. He's getting healthier but just by sitting here. Oh, this is it, bruh. Can't believe that play, though. That's crazy. I can't believe that play, man. He EQs there? What a giga chat, bro. Just take it, bruh. <laughs> Two HP, he's hanging on. I'm roosting just in case he goes Ferrothorn and wants to kill me with Iron Barbs for the BM. Okay. GG's the Fat Cat. I did not have the tools for that battle. GG's, GG's. That was a hard, hard battle. It went from very easy to very hard, and that's you see, I have to play the prediction game from the get go. 
and I have to get it right all the way throughout the game. Because if I get like one pattern sequence wrong, uh, it just turns against me, and I'm fighting against the tide constantly, and it's so hard. Because if you lose one piece, that's what that's your answer to one thing, uh, and then that thing just sits on that thing, and then if you lose another piece, like if I once I lost the guard, Sableye just got to sit on me. Once I lost the Grand, Gliscor just gets to sit on me, like. It's just hard. It's just completely fighting against the tide always. But that's that's the thing with these uh, compositions, man. The Gliscor, uh, the Sableye, the Ferrothorn, the Gastrodon. It's it's stall, man. It is what it is. Like it is what it is. Like he had recover. He had the toxic. He had the roost, the poison heal. You know, and probably had recover uh, on Gastrodon as well. So that it's just hard for me to to allocate the resources correctly. But. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoy the battle. We're still 2-2, and it's top 8 for playoffs. So unless we monumentally fumble this, we should still be good to go for playoffs. And we're making a transaction next week. Ardeno is getting off the board for um, Zatu. Magic Bounce would have helped a lot in this matchup, I feel like. Um, so, you know, we'll uh, we'll come back stronger. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll try to get him next day. Until then, this has been your boy Soul Blaze. And as always... Um, take care of yourselves, man. Take care of your family. They're all you got. So, yeah. Peace.